like going through something as a painter. Like I feel like I used to be a really talented painter and now I suck. I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed. I don't know why. I just, to be honest, like, I'm stuck. I feel stuck. I feel stuck. And I think <clears throat> on a deeper level, some parallels that I'm noticing was like I I paint to connect with my spirit and I genuinely do feel a bit disconnected from my spirit It's just kind of been like, <clears throat> I don't know, like for me, it's something that's I go through waves of spiritual connection. And I know that the disconnect is only inspiring like an even deeper connection when like a lot of sage burning right now it's a little hard to breathe like the disconnect is definitely going to cause an even greater connection um, and I don't think it's something that you know there is to necessarily figure out I think it's just something I guess I've been practicing leaning more into is not needing to know the answers, uh, not needing to know how to fix things, and just kind of like observing, uh, like really observing um, myself, and showing up regardless of how I feel. So observation without judgment. No judgment. So observation. Breath. Coming into the present moment. disconnected <clears throat> I'm feeling the disconnection without needing to change it or make it wrong and I think um, this is deeply tied for me with inner child healing you know that eternal part of us that is always little, right? Because it's like we're still that person that was with baby fingers and couldn't walk. We've obviously evolved past that stage of our life, but that being is still there. And um, yeah, I think even if you're, you've had you've had an amazing childhood and somehow are unscathed uh, you know like without like
like a deep trauma, which is kind of rare, pretty rare. Um, there may still be parts of the younger self that even were just like not held when they needed to be held or seen um, like this is so it's so minor but it still sticks with me like this time when I was eight years old and I was goofing around you know just like being like a dumb little kid and um, my uncle's wife at the time said I don't remember what I said she just looked at me down in the face and she's like you're not Funny, honey. And there's still a part of me that is healing from that. You know, these things don't stick with us for no reason. And things do stick with us without our conscious memory of it as well. Like, we don't need to remember exactly what was said or, you know, how we felt. But a lot of times, like, there is a time when I was, like, in preschool and uh we took like trips to the bathroom as a class and I was left in the bathroom with the lights like the lights were off and I don't know like I don't know why I didn't just like go back to the classroom I think I was like scared or something and um I don't remember what I did but I remember freeze like just like freezing and not like actually being cold just like I like I was literally like frozen in time like I had no idea what to do I was just like whoa I'm the only one here like this has never happened to me before um I don't know I guess through my art I want to connect with my spirit more and connect with that inner child feels lost and confused um, because that part of me is still very much there. A part of me that's not sure what to do sometimes is still there. And having an outlet through my paintings, through art, gives me space to work through this, to work through To be there for myself to show up to show up mm, kind of let go of the outcome you know I think as artists it's very common for us to be hard on ourselves and always you know we make a great piece it's like all right what's next what's next how are we going to top it and um yeah I think it's more about the process, the process of the actual making of the art, mm. letting go of what it should look like, you know, feeling in your body, how do you feel when you experience this painting, this piece of art? What does it make you feel? How does it inspire you to feel? Damn, we're getting dark up in this bitch. I like it. I like it. Metamorphosis number one is a darker painting too. I feel like, um, I think this one's like four inches bigger. Maybe it's the same size. I think it's the same size, actually, as Metamorphosis one. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think there's like a lot of <clears throat> almost like rebellion coming from the spiritual community because a lot of people have been putting themselves on pedestals or feeling the need to be perfect or feeling the need to put others on pedestals when in reality no matter how spiritual you are guess what babe you're also a fucking human you're also a human here to make mistakes and learn just like the rest of us um as a virgo it's like a big virgo thing just like the need to be perfect and critical and whatever so I'm really 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 trying to work with that energy as well um i think that's also something that translates into art um in like a not so <clears throat> helpful kind of way when you feel like it has to be perfect and then you kind of like end up overworking things or just like kind of i don't want to say fucking it up but it's like you look back as i've been going through my hard drive i like look back on these paintings that I should have just stopped working on you know it's like you gotta know as an artist that's like a huge thing to know when to stop when enough is enough and um to have that kind of like restraint where you're like yep we're done here and I think that's another reason why I've been not loving my art so much I haven't really been able to pull myself out of it like pull myself out of it enough to be like all right good job complete you know so works in progress i'll just work some progress <laughs>